Welcome to today's demonstration of the Hotel for SAP add-on. This video segment in the series will focus on the in-house module. It will give you a brief understanding of its layout and walk you through the day-to-day -day operations of the front office staff. The module is mainly divided into two parts. On the left side of the screen we see tabs and functions that allow us to easily manage all the rooms in the hotel. These functions include daily operations such as check-ins, check-outs, room assignments, etc. On the right side of the screen we see the bills management section. Here we can add, transfer, or reverse charges, modify bills, issue invoices, and submit credit memos in case corrections are needed. First, let's take a look at the rooms management section. On the top we have some usability features that allow us to do quick searches for guests in rooms. Simply type in the room number and the system will show us the current guest in that room. By double clicking on the line item it will open up the reservation. The same procedure applies when searching for a guest. We have also provided an advanced search option. This will open up a new window and multiple, with multiple search criteria. Simply type in what you are looking for and click search. The results will populate below and you can double click to open up the reservation. In the date fields we can move to past or future days of production. In past days we can review checked out rooms with their related invoices and then in future days we can review rooms that are scheduled to arrive. This can be useful to the hotel for their advanced planning. Below the date fields we see all the available statuses of our rooms. In the arrivals tab we will see all the scheduled arrivals for that day that have yet to check in. Skipping the Arrive tab, we have the In-House tab, which displays all the rooms that have been checked into. The Arrive tab is a middle ground status reserved for guests that have yet to check into a room for whatever reason, but want to open up a tab to start applying charges. In the Departing tab, we see all the rooms that are scheduled to leave for the day, but have not yet checked out. The rooms that have checked out will appear in the Checked Out tab. Similar to the Arrive tab, the Departing tab will also display rooms that have checked out but want to keep a bill open for additional charges. These rooms are separated in the, ta in the table with a blue status color and will not appear in the Checked Out tab until closed. The final tab we will demonstrate is the Pay Bills tab. Here are shown all the pay bills that have been created. In Hotel for SAP we manage two types of pay bills. One is the group bill that is linked to a reservation with rooms and is distinguished with a plus sign before the description line item. The other is the event bill where charges can be assigned to one combined bill without a room being assigned. These event bills can easily be created by clicking on the new pay bill button. Now, let's go back to the in-house tab to demonstrate how to manage the rooms within any of the tabs. In the reservation number column, we can see the reservation number and click on the golden arrow to drill down. The column with the plus sign allows us to double click and expand the reservation if it contains multiple rooms. By double clicking again, we go back to the previous view. The room and description columns allow us to sort the rooms by number or description. And in the remaining columns, we can see the arrival and departure dates, number of nights staying, and amount of people in the room separated by adults and children. When selecting a line item, the functions on the button are activated based upon what the user can do. These functions allow us to change room statuses, view and edit deposits, or change the room assignment or number. Below the function buttons, we can additionally see a list of all the guests that are staying in that room. By clicking on the guest line item, their profile will appear on the right side of the screen so we can add or edit any desired information. These changes will be applied to the guest master data of Hotel for SAP eliminating the need to go back and forth between different windows. 
Now let's move on to the bills management section on the right side of the window. On the top we see the different bills that are opened for the room. In this case the room selected only has a couple bills activated. <clears throat> the bills are defaulted from the routing section defined during the reservation. However, the user can always manually add bills and move the charges according to the customer's needs. The header part of this section will show a description that was assigned to the bill, the business partner linked if any, the type of bill, and if accounts receivables or deposits are allowed in the routing. The table below will display all the charges assigned to the specific bills. By selecting one or more charge with the right click, Hotel for SAP will give us some useful functions for selection and routing. For example, we can route the selected charge to any of the existing bills or new bill. Now when we open the third bill that was just created, we see this charge. Now let's take a look at the buttons on the bottom of the screen. To add additional charges, you can press the charge button and a new window will appear. You can then select the charges desired, assign amounts, and also change the posting date and description. As you can see in the first bill, we only have the minibar charge assigned, since the accommodation was assigned to the second bill in the routing of the reservation the room and breakfast charges were automatically routed to bill number two. If we need to transfer a partial or full amount, we can select the charges from the bill and press the transfer button. A new window will appear where we can choose the amount <coughs> or percentage we want transferred in addition the, to the room we want them transferred to. Let's take a look at the room these charges were transferred to. As you can see in the origin column, the room this charge was transferred from is indicated. Moving on to the reverse button, if you select charges from a room and press the reverse button, you have the ability to cancel charges. Just like before, you can cancel a percentage or amount of that charge. When you want to issue the final invoice to the customer, you press the billing button. If a note was assigned to the reservation at checkout, the note will appear here. A confirmation on this window will bring up a new screen where you can determine and define the terms of the bill. In the first table, you can add or change the business partner, select the invoice layout, and manage the loyalty program of the guest, if applicable. In the second table, all the deposits linked to the reservation will appear to be selected for payment. You can consume part or all of these deposits. The final tab allows you to capture the payment methods and associated information. One great feature here is that you can have up to six different payment methods for the same invoice. Once the information is correct, we press confirm and Hotel for SAP will automatically generate and print the invoice into Core SAP. Once the invoice has been issued, we can view it in the last tab called Invoiced. Here, we can expand the invoice, see the individual charges, and drill down into the core SAP invoice document. From that invoice, you can also view the incoming payment that was generated with all the applicable payment means you chose in Hotel for SAP. Going back to the invoice tab of the in-house module, Hotel for SAP allows us to issue credit memos that are integrated with Core SAP. In this case, we will do a full reversal, which in turn generates the credit memo document in SAP and brings back the charges to the bill for that room. Now in the invoice tab, we will see a second document line item with the drill down option to view the SAP credit memo document. This concludes our demonstration of the in-house module inside of the Hotel for SAP add-on. Please reference our other videos in the series for more information on Hotel for SAP.